You're about to watch a video we filmed live on Twitch. But it's not actually live. But you can catch us live on twitch.tv slash hardcore games. So the next time we do it, you need to be there chatting with us. Go follow us at twitch.tv slash hardcore games. Hey everyone, welcome to iHeart Board Games here on a Saturday afternoon. And it's just Melissa and myself. Yep. Just Jesse and I. Yeah. Oh well, that's uh -huh. okay. Look, we're here, so let's play yeah, some games. I just noticed something that isn't up there. Ooh. What game are we playing? <gasps> Arcane Academy, Arcane which we usually put right there. Arcane Academy! There it is. It's a game by Eric Lane and Kevin Wilson. I do love a good Eric Lane game. Eric Lane you may know from Blood Rage and Rising Godfather. Sun and Godfather and such. Um, Kevin Wilson you may know from Arkham Horror. You may know from El... No, not Elder Shore. Other games. Other games. <laughs> That's not Eldritch. <laughs> yeah. So, before you watch this, <laughs> YouTube, <laughs> Uh, we have not played this before, so if you make any mistakes, be sure to post them in the comments. We know you will. Here we go. Post in the comments below. Post in the comments below. Um, I need to post that we are live. Look if you're a new little post in the comments below. Mm -hmm. Cha cha cha. And let's go to the, boom, the overhead. So, we're normally having four people at the table, so today. The other camera will be showing another little mini screen in case we want to cut to that. All right, back to it. The other cameras are used to that. We're not too bright, are we? I don't think so. Yeah, we're fine. We're fine. This is your first time getting to see our background we're working on. We're not quite done with it. It's being worked on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. Used to be just a nice big cloth back there. there. Yep. Now it's a little cold. Now it's a little something else. Hey, hey, with a peep. Oh, no. What? I was looking at the meatballs and it made me think of, hey, hey, with a meatballs. All right, so this will be a good place to start the YouTube video, by the way. So if you're watching this on YouTube, this is our first time playing. If we make any mistakes, please post them in the comments below because we know you will and we know we will make mistakes. Even though this is a very simple game, uh, everything is right here on the back of this sheet. Quick, quick reference guide. The um, learn to play video was only like three minutes long. Unless was, you did the watch it play, then it was like seven minutes long. I was told the, the gist of it at lunchtime. So <laughs> let's see true. how well I listened. <laughs> well, on your turn, you do two things. You can either cast or rest. After you've completed eight assignments, uh, you say pencils down. So how do you complete an assignment? Well, let's go over the tile actions. You can see you start off with four tiles on your board already. Mm -hmm. Let me get this out of the way because it's in my way. There we go. So you start off with four tiles on your board already. Those are not going anywhere. You can put tiles on top of them. But we'll get to that in a second. So here's the actions you can do. You can collect shards, which lets you just take a shard from one of this. No, don't oh. put that in there. Oh, <laughs> here, put this under here. There we go. Put it off camera. It's just an extra bowl. Okay. Yeah, these are my shorts. Mine, 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 mine. Right. <laughs> yeah, okay, anything in these aren't yours. You don't have all the victory points. Already. I have all the victory points. Already. They're all mine. No, you don't. Okay. There. Uh, let's see. I'm just looking at a few things. Okay. So that will let you take a shard. They, they are spent to craft items. There's no limit to the number of shards you can have. You can also gain will, which is the little brain, which lets you gain one of these. You do have a cap of nine will, though. Oh, hey! I have to do it from this angle. Hello. It's different for me. Hello, Hello, Slivers. How are you doing today? Hello, Welcome to PAX friend. Unattending. Hello. <laughs> yeah. See ya. And the other thing you can do is use item, which is this little wand thing. Let you take one of your completed items with a little wand symbol like this mm -hmm. and do the thing. Pokemon The Power of Us was awesome. Yay! They went to go see Pokemon The Power, Power of Us, maybe like Kim and oh. Sam. 
Sarah. So I sang the I sang them the Pokemon theme song this morning on the ukulele. <laughs> we did like a rock out acoustic version of Pokemon theme song on the ukulele. It was Pokemon. awesome. Gotta I saw the first Pokemon, Pokemon in the theaters, like way way back. I went with a friend of mine who wasn't really into Pokemon, and he fell asleep. But to oh, be goodness. fair, he always falls asleep in movies. So. Oh, I know who you're talking about. <laughs> it's, it's so funny that he says that, and I know immediately who he's talking about because it really is true. He does fall asleep in every movie. <laughs> like, no joke. <laughs> Another symbol that you, you don't see on your board, but it's right here, is chaos magic. That's a wild that can be used to activate any of the things. You also have complete assignment, which you choose a spell or item in the uh, center of the public or one in your hand, which we start off with three private ones. And you cast that, and then you're going to tuck it under your uh, board like such oh. to where only the uh, prestige is showing or points are showing. Uh -huh. That would mean you've cast the spell. Cool. First person to uh, complete eight of them ends the game, takes the pencils down card here. And the other person gets one final turn, and then it's over. Right. It says all that on the pencils down. Actually, let's move over. Okay, we have this one, a bit. this one action move here. Move sheets up. Yeah, I haven't gone over that yet. So that other thing that you just referenced is the add tile. Speaking of which, you have a bag of mm -hmm. tiles over there. We're going to put out four of these right now. Ooh! Yes, I remember playing the Pokemon uh, video game on Nintendo 64. That was probably the last time I really played Pokemon like, like on like a console. I remember, I remember being a cool back then, so I can only imagine how much evolved the Pokemon has gotten since Nintendo 64. And once again, this is our first time playing, so we'll be uh, learning a few things, mm. getting to know a few things, when things happen, when things come out, you know, just, just little things like that. We'll be getting it. Um, so let's choose a first player. Can we... Roll a D6, roll a D6. What? Roll a D6. You have a D6? It's on there. Uh, yeah, that's yeah, a lot of typing it. to do. You said it's working. <laughs> it is working. Just go to the room. So you're going to roll one? Yep. D6, I think that's the command. Is that? Yeah, exclamation point. I rolled a five. Six. <laughs> you rolled a... Nothing. Oh, because there's a there's a time. Well, actually, I thought that was for a person. That's weird. I Try it again. Nothing. Try it again. <laughs> I rolled a zero. That's not right. <laughs> we rolled too close to each other. Your message is not sent because I did it for the previous one less than thirty oh, seconds ago. Well, I guess I won. Yeah, but I think you won because I have essentially rolled a zero twice. True. So. True. It is not my turn. It's Jesse. He's first player because I rolled a zero. Try it again. Oh, I rolled a, uh, I oh, rolled rolled a six. six. Yay. Oh. Summer says I rolled a six. Yeah. <laughs> yes, <laughs> tricky. I, tricky, I tricky, tricky, six, tricky. I go first. But no, I think, hey, what's going on? Hey, what's going on? Oh, so it is Melissa's turn, says the Silver Knight. Well, so yeah. if, if Silver Sting is You want to go first? Go. I will go first. Right. Silver says, So you have two choices. You can cast or you can rest. I'm going to cast. Casting means you're activating one of these tiles mm -hmm. by exhausting it using one of the black cubes. Now, if you see how there's a split between these two, if you use either one of them, it exhausts the whole tile. Ooh. So, where are these things? What? The that's green. victory points. Oh, that's how many you get. So this yeah. is what you have to. What do you have to the use? The number to up get top it? is how many you have to use to do it. Oh, okay. Or, um, yeah. It's always Melissa's turn. Always my turn. Sure. It's always my turn. That's weird. I. I want to do this okay, one. Can't hear anything. Brains. Brains. All right, so you're upping your will. I'm upping my will. And we started off with three will, so now you're at four. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, I think I will do, uh, let's see, I am casting a, cast a spell. Where's our wands? 
Hmm? What wands? Oh, 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 yeah. yeah. I'll be right back. Across the house. No, mine's on the bookshelf. <sighs> it's your turn anyway. So I watched Day of the Hedges last night. I have one question. <laughs> okay. I'm not uh, Travis, but go ahead. I, w I did shoot it visually. I didn't contribute to the story much at all, really. Oh, I'm, I'm in that thing. I'm in there somewhere? Maybe? No. Why does Travis not have that sweet goatee anymore? <laughs> that was specifically for that character. His uh, dance, he calls it the his dance world cowboy. He has like this whole saga thing. So a day, f day of the Hedges is about a bunch of different characters from all of his different movies all coming together into one story. And so I think he got cameos from quite a lot of people that have been in his movies before. Um, yeah, but all I know is I was behind the camera, so <laughs> did not contribute to that one. And Melissa was on Boom sometimes. Yes, I did most of the Boom on Day Hedges. So if it was bad sound, you could blame her. Don't blame bad me! Bad visuals, you could blame me. <laughs> Don't blame me, the sound was awesome! But as far as what I was shooting, that's up the traps now. Yes. That one was entertaining because it was just ridiculous and that you know that's well day the hedges was mostly like a, it's an anniversary one so it's like a lot of returning characters from years past so like if you had followed the stories of like his previous show like if you were a friend of his for a long period of time and had worked on other things you would get a lot of the like kind of inside um jokes of, of it <laughs> <laughs> nothing with goatee it's true yeah, there were many funny sure, moments of that sure. one. I remember having to sit in the back of a, it was Tyler's big giant SV thing, and I had to like lay on the ground and like have the mic just right so that I could like capture the sound in the car without being, without being seen. I remember that, like having to drive away, like get away car. <laughs> All right. Which, which would you like, my hand painted a uh, chopstick I'm good. wand? I'm good. Or sonic screwdriver. I'll have both. There you go. I have chopstick one. Don't mess with me. I'm so going to exhaust my. Um... This one here. This one here. Yeah. There's a few questions I had for this game, but um. I simply got brains. You simply got brains? Yeah, mm -hmm. well that one's pretty easy. So I'm going to use one of my... Uh... Oh, you're doing one of the cards. Yeah. That's why it's not more of a question. Yeah, so I'll use one of my items to put out my Bow of Spell Mastery. So, the action I'm using is um, complete an assignment. I've spent the appropriate amount of uh, shards and place the item in front of me. Very good. Whatever it does. I'll Each just... time I complete a spell, gain one shard. So I'm just trying to build an engine. So it's back good. to you. I am also going to use one of my cards. It's on the page when poking around his channel and notice all the characters are popping up. <laughs> yeah. And... Yeah, it takes them a while to grow the goatee, I think. I'm well. gonna do this. Abracadabra. Whoa. Did you watch after the credits? This one. That's why I need the brains. Four mm -hmm. brains. And four shards. I gain four shards, please. Four shards, four shards. These are giant crystals, or giant shards. Giant shards. All right. Oh, I got so many shards, yay! I am going to exhaust my brain. How, how do we do, get these things again? We just, put, tiles. we just put one it's here? these, yeah. Maybe we just pop yeah, it just there? put it there and take it. Huh. That's one of the things I gotta look at, let's see. I think it immediately comes back. Did not, we'll go back and watch. Yeah, so. That had to be the last thing we shot. 
Which is like a reference to one of the dance world things. Oh, goodness. Gracious life. Because I'm tired. It's your turn. Isn't it? No, I just got oh, all these Oh, you shots. went first. That's right. I got all these shards. Did I go? No, I went first, right? Who went first? I went first. I got okay. brains. Then you got a card. Now, I so got all turn. these shards from a card. All right. It's your turn. Casting this. Same thing you cast. Going down to zero. Four shards for me. Go for it. And complete his spell so I gain a shard. Anyway, yeah. Uh, Travis is uh, goatee free in the after scene. I'm grabbing but a for tile. for a reason. I'm grabbing a tile. Ah, uh, yes. That one I was briefly in. I'm grabbing <laughs> this tile. Go for it. So yeah, it seems like tiles are a good thing to grab because of the uh, chain effects. Yeah, I don't, I don't know if I'm in the board game when it all as far. I mean, I did a lot of sound. I, I am essentially the boom, the boom operator for most all of the, the recent films I'll like a tile as well. Day of the Hedges, board game one, um, and even Jesse's films. Um, Be careful boom. about the way you lay that. You can spin it any way you want. Those half circles matter. Oh, oh yes, 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 that's right. I'm sorry. I forgot that. Don't I apologize to, to me. I need to put it here. Non-speaking role. If you want to see me in a speaking role, uh, I did a different movie, actually, without Travis. Um, that's kind of like a, a nod to Twin Peaks. I had a pretty big role in this one. I don't even know if it's on YouTube. I have a talking role and cover me. I, I said two lines. I was the um, the flyer girl. I got to put a, a, I don't think I've a flyer on the. Me very much. Uh, I got to put a flyer on like the like the pole, like the energy pole, and I was putting the flyers like, "See you at the show." <laughs> Cover me is an indie movie I made. Um, it is definitely it. worth a watch. We have a lot of really awesome, amazing actors in that one that we know from local theater as, as well as just friends of ours. It has nothing very, to do with board games or anything, but... It is very well made. Yes, Cover Me. Go check it out on... Uh, I put it on YouTube, actually. <laughs> it's already there. Yeah. Uh, if you look up... Um, it did get... I guess uh, Sedgley Films, S-E-I-D-U-L-E. What was it? In the Films. Lafayette? Film Festival came in second? Um, was that the, oh, Lake yeah. Charles. Lake Charles. Lake Charles. It was Lake Charles Film Festival. And it came in second only to a um, film very dear to some people. I say dear to some people's hearts, but very um, true to some people around these parts of the, uh, what did they call it? The Hundred Year Flood? Huh? As it came in second only to that. Or, thousand Year. Oh, Thousand Year. It is my turn. Yep, I got this thingy. And I put it here with the because I had forgotten about the circle things mattering. That's so, so weird. Right here. Oh it's wait, as as I, have to, I have to I mean, swing it. But whatever. This I guess it doesn't. It's your choice. That's the decisions that come in this game. I have to swing it this way. I have to put it here so that all the So the reason this matters. is important, there's little half circles that are on these tiles. If you link them to another circle. Whenever you take that action, you can also take the action adjacent to it, as long as it doesn't have an exhaustion cube on there. So if I were to take this now, I wouldn't be able to do this, but if I had cleared all these, which is one of my actions I could do, I could either cast or I can rest. Those are two things you can do in this game. And then I were to take that action, then I'd be able to take both things in one turn. Yeah. So that's why I put it here, because these connect, and then if I ever want to connect another one here or here, I have that option. So I put it in this spot. I. I put up here, forgetting that, and it's like, oh, wait, no, this is a better option. So um, there are private spells in our hands, which mm -hmm. I've cast two already. I think I'm supposed to draw back, but if that's the part I'm not certain on. Yeah, I've only cast one, so I have two cards still. Uh, so that doesn't really change what I'm going to do, though. So I am going to now exhaust my other tile buying ability. Ooh, this is a and I'm going one for four of those circles. Yeah. I'm gonna go here. Let's do this. Go for it. 
I'm going to use this one, and here's that example we're saying, like, I'm going to use this tile, but even though it's linked, I can't, this R is a square, so I can't, so I'm just doing the one card. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to grab this card here. Okay, well. Can I grab that one? I have the yeah, six shards. Yeah, of course. One, two, three, four, five, six. I have the amount. Yeah, end of your turn, you draw new tiles from the bag, replace them, so we got to replace that. Oh. Draw new assignment cards to the deck to replace any assignments you completed. Oh, so I need one more assignment, and you need two more. So let me see if I want to do one of my own assignments. Mm, nope, I'm sorry. new card face up at the center table. When replacing a private assignment, put the new card face down near you. There should be four assignment tiles for, for the next player. Okay. So yeah, we're even... Because uh, I know the tiles, you buy them, and then they go on at the very end of your turn. And that, okay. Yeah, it matters for some reason. <laughs> so right. I'm still going to grab this one. Spell cost you one less will to complete. To a minimum. So you're casting it. I'm getting this. Completing the assignment. Yes. Yeah, I'm so complete. that costs six of those. Yeah. Yes. One, two, three, four, five, six. That is why you had your own. Thing. Oh, okay. Yep. Yeah. So, poof. Take it. Spells cost you one less will to complete. Well, that's pretty good. That's so good. I'm going to do that too. We got a card. Red Jack's Mantle as well. <gasps> so far, we have a lot of the same spells happening. Because they're good spells. Oh, wait. Why am I doing that? I don't have the card to do it. Uh oh. You don't have the thing. I don't have. The, I don't have the stuff. So I don't have either, what it takes. So you either need to cast a brain or I'm actually going or to, rest. Um, yeah, I can't take tiles anymore, so I'm going to do this. Actually, gives me one will, and one damage. shard, and let's go for another will from that. Go ahead. What's the nine-hour clock for? Nine. Oh, this is for your brains, for the will. Oh, I was, just, I was looking on the screen. <laughs> I was like, what? We got a nine-hour clock? Yeah. Now, this is for the will, for our brain uh, uh, power. tracking our will. Yeah, so this is how we track that. Because yeah, there's only five actions you can ever take, or six, including the wild, which we haven't even seen yet. Okay, I'm going to take a tile. Mm -hmm. I'm going to take... Okay. Gonna take this one. Alright. That's a nice tile. Oh, it's a nice one. I'm gonna rest. I'm going to play a card. Play one of these gives me zero points at the end, but right now it'll gain me two will, mm -hmm. and it costs zero shards, so I don't have to spend a shard to do it. So your spell should be tucked in here because it's like a one-time effect. Typically, your items can be used over and over again, so if you don't tuck those, you need to see them. Well, this item, so I keep gaining every time you cast it. Oh, so I don't get this game Whenever you do right the now. little cast ability. Oh, okay, so that's... Which you have two uh, two tiles for, which is pretty good. Yeah. Okay, that was mine. I played a, I played a card. I put this out for zero shards. Hmm. Never discarded. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Alright, I'm going to take a tile on this one. I'm gonna get some linky up in here. Ooh, see, I got get some, some links going. Got some links going on around here. Around here, around here, around here. Go for it. I must rest because I have zero options left. But I maximize my options. They're very, yes, very efficient. And I just rest. 
to move forward. I'm going here, which allows me to take a tile and um, complete an assignment. The tile I will take be this one, which I will place this way. And um, oh, actually I actually could take another tile. What about all this? I'm not done with that yet. I'm but done. don't you get to do this one and yeah. this one? Yeah, well, I may as well do that, I guess. Take a shard, gain a will from that. Mm -hmm. From this one, I get to gain a tile. And then I also have to complete my assignment. If um, you are able, which yeah, you have yeah. plenty. <laughs> I'm able. I'm going to take... I think about this one. This one provides the most links. Although I don't have many cast spells, so I think about this one. And the thing I'll complete is Red Jack's mantle, which I was stating earlier. I just need six things, which I have them right here. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right. I'm starting to become a good arcane student. <laughs> All right, I'm going to do... Oh, and I need to draw a card. And we need to replenish the tiles. So that might change what you do. Ooh. Spells cost me one less, huh? Hmm. Oh, so someone has to get eight of these, right? Whoever gets eight completed. Correct. Spells. I have three. Oh, you I have. have. I have three. Three. Two, okay. Three. Yeah, we uh, finished eight com eight assignments, which these are our assignments oh, that I we've should been have drawn back up to doing. Three. The ones in the middle are the community assignments. These are as if they were in our hand, and then we each have three in our hand that are private. And we're just spending either the shards or the will needed to cast these spells. This is just a 30 minute game. This is a quick little yeah. tile um, action game. So I'm going to go to the tile place and I'm going to take. Right? Yeah. This tile and put it here. All right. So the reason. As I stated earlier, you want those circles to go together so they can link and do a lot of things. Now this one is exhausted, so if I were to do this now, this action wouldn't take place, just the bottom one. So it's re you gotta be really picky about which ones you choose. Let's see, you may substitute will for shards to pay any part of items cost. No. Remember a player rests including you gain one shard and one will. That's kind of nice. I mean the more tiles we get, though, the less resting we're going to do. Let's go for... Uh, first of all, we got to replace the tile. Yeah. So. Replace the tile! Um, I think I'm going to grab a tile before I go crazy. Let's go crazy. That's good. That's fine. Then... Alrighty then. My turn? Yes. Okay. Nice one. I'm gonna go here. The card. I would have taken that. <laughs> Actually, eventually you're not gonna need tiles, even though you can place on top of tiles and replace them. Nice. If you replace an exhausted tile, the exhausted tube does travel though. I'm gonna put on this one. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to complete a card. Yeah. I'm also going to be able to get a brain and a shard mm -hmm. and choose either another card or a spell. Like that. spell. So first things first, I'm going to do the card. So I'm going to do this one. Cost me zero. Okay, so there is an um, order of operations here. You perform the activated tile first, mm -hmm. then you may perform all the actions yeah. on every so other So this one. is the card. It's unexhausted. So I did the card first. Here's the card. Zero okay. shards. It gives me... Now you can do all the ones adjacent to it. Yeah, so now now when I do this, mm -hmm. 
I get two shards. Two shards and two will, right? Well, is it you double? Can, no, no, you can only or get choose one, card one or the other. Yeah. Um, I prefer to get the will because I have zero will. Yeah, you select one of your items and use yeah. that usability. So I have zero will, so I'm going to grab the will. And then I'm going to use... Wait, I don't put this on here. Did you pick up that bu uh, bundle? Yes, picked it up. Um, actually picked up some extra copies because give them away later. I don't have, to put, dollar, the, I mean, I don't I don't have to put the exhaustion on here. I went to put it, but it's like I'm activating this, which then links. So I don't have to put exhaustion here. So I did this. Mm -hmm. And now I'm going to get a will and a shard. Mm -hmm. Okay. Here's my turn. And now... Now I have a C, but see this you is the card in your hand. Yeah, this is being like right now I have two cards out here, so I have four total, but two right. of them have zero points on them. So yeah, isn't it points? That's trouble. I mean, points matter. So sure they do. So even though this is giving me options of getting more stuff, uh, it's zero points in the game, and I'm halfway there. So I got to be really strategic for the rest of the game. How many cards I'm putting out? Like, gotta watch for the points. I'm going to exhaust this one and choose choose Will. Then I'm going to get. Hmm. Should I have great? Let's go for a Will punch. over here as well. And then I get two more Will and two sharks. Too much. You're getting Your too sharks. much over there. Yeah, no, but look at the link. Should I have great pineapple or fruit punch? None of them. You're talking on stream. Ah. Go ahead. <laughs> I need something to... No, you're good. Thank you for... <sighs> we have a couple games behind us. Uh, we're going to be playing the Home Alone game. Woo! Kevin! Kevin! Uh, we also have... Pioneer Days, which is by TMG. We played that last night. It was really fun. Yeah, we'll be playing that two-player. But we also have some other options here. Ooh, in case duet. other ones come up. we got Hanamakoji, Codenames Duet, and Pocket Mars, which I actually haven't read into very much. Oh, we, we have do. Drop Mix. Yep. We can go grab that in the other room. We can do some <laughs> Drop Mix. That is an option. They're all options. Just have to fill all the right. background as well. But, yeah, we're... For sure, gonna play Pioneer Days. That's kind of a new one. It'd be nice to play. Um, we enjoyed it, and Home Alone as well. There's not many, not much online for that. We mixed the drops. <laughs> Got those sweet beats. I'm gonna be doing this action. Mm-hmm. Getting the will. Yeah. And then I'm gonna play a card. For this action, go for it. And play this card. Cost two will. Mm -hmm. And it's a frost storm. It says each opponent must you choose. Close up, I think. Yeah. Oh, uh, it's blue. It's so blue. Whoops. It's so blue. Ah! <laughs> I didn't do that close up cam yet, did I? Try it again. I mean, it's gonna be blue, so no getting around that. <laughs> but at least it, you can kind of read it. Yeah. Each opponent must choose one of their unexhausted tiles and exhaust it. Okay. But you get to choose. Yeah, sure. What was that? Uh, I'm going to go for this one because I'm not going to do that. <laughs> That's not that threatening. Wait, you thought that was scary? Yeah. Thought you were tough? Yep. I was super tough. Nope. So now I have five cards. You have three cards. Goal is eight. But right now... Nine. Oh, well, we're I'm pretty one close. one point off from you. Yeah, one point off. So even though I have five cards and he has three point-wise, I put up two cards that have zero points, so we're actually one apart, even though I'm three, two cards closer to the mark. Like, I'm only three cards away. Yeah. So i got to be really careful how I play my cards from here on. But, but like, that one is like, ooh, one less, one less tile for you. Yeah. So I'm gonna spend, uh, well, I gotta do an assignment first. Remember right, you have changed your wall behind you. There was like a splatter painting before, yes. yes. Uh, it was a shower curtain almost. Not really, it was like a regular curtain. Yeah. Uh, that was like a heart. It was like a paint heart or something. Yeah. And now we have this. So what was behind me before was an actual closet. That's where I held a lot of my film stuff, camera stuff. 
And I've since moved all that above my computer area. Built shelves. And also reduced the amount of stuff I have. Because well, I really we opened don't use up all some, that much anymore. Yeah, we opened up some room to store a few things otherwise. You know, and so I made elsewhere. the closet into an extra space. And it actually makes this room feel a little bigger. Because hmm. I feel like we have like space behind us. Whereas right. before there was like this We had trouble division. walking behind that yeah. spot. So this was always a long-term plan of mine to actually build that. I just had to take... It took about two days to build it. Yeah. Because I never built walls before. <laughs> so that was a fun adventure. Um, let's see. I'm going to do this. I almost forgot what I was going to do. I'm going to... Let's do this one. Complete an assignment for four. Brings me back down to three. The harvest to gain four stars. I feel like a wizard. So my linked ability is to gain two shards. Oh, I think you gain another good. shard and a will. So it looks good from here. Yeah, thank you. It's uh, it really is built like a set. Um, but I'm happy with it. <laughs> Yeah, it's, uh, where is it? Oh, it's good. <laughs> Can I go into it, too? It's about, uh, four feet deep, which is nice. I am going to do a tile action. Let's look at this camera. Ooh. And I'm going to take this tile here and put it here. Everything's all backwards. <laughs> and right. we need another tile out. I took this tile. I put it here. It's a good one too. Um, so I have tons of shards now. This one needs shards. This one needs shards. This one needs shards. Well, I got one in my hand that's worth eight. <gasps> eight what? shards. I haven't seen an eight shard in my hand. Not that I could use it. Armor of the Inverse. Ooh. Which, all these backgrounds are blue. Why is that? <laughs> this item is worth one plus one prestige for every discarded assignment card and tile. What I guess they mean by discarded is... Yeah, they discard nothing. Yeah, but, I mean, is that what these are on the outside? I'll be looking that up. But if you're on YouTube, feel free to post that in the comments. <laughs> A discard, I don't discard anything. Go ahead, we'll figure it out. All right, there's a reason it's worth eight, I'm sure. I'll figure that out later, though. I'm going to do because the, the wording should say, you know, for each completed assignment, it says every discarded assignment card and tile. I'm gonna get this one discarded. So I'm going to get a shard and a tile. Mm -hmm. What? Uh, which tile do I want? That was my phone. Are you picking up a tile? Yes. This one. Well, I'm not sure about discarding. <laughs> Why does it say discard? Need to tile. Mm -hmm. <gasps> An A eyeball! Wild. An eyeball! So the eyeball can do anything you want of uh, all those <gasps> other actions. What? Ah! Ah! Let's see. Da da da. We can run out of tiles. Can you play this one? Round tiles continue playing until someone completes eight assignments. If you run out of cards before someone completes eight assignments, there he draws the final card from the deck. Says, I mean, that's just not going to happen in our in our build. 
That's going to be one for online to search, because that's strange that they would use the word discarded whenever we're not really discarding anything. We're just kind of tucking. Huh. So, the old tuck. I never drew my card. My three cards. Hmm. Go ahead and use. Oh, wait, do I have a use? Yeah, I do. Let's exhaust the complete assignment. And we're going to take for four the Gloves of Stolen Dreams. Whenever any player rests, including myself, gain a shard and a will. Go ahead. I'm going to rest. Ooh, I gain a shard and a will. <laughs> Thanks for helping me out. You're welcome. Armor of the Inner. Always trying to help my fellow classmates. That's right. Out of that bundle I found that I really like Splendor and La... What is that? La Havre? Is that how you say that, that game? La Havre? See, the two fighting legend games won't really find a level. Oh, Same one guys. frequently like missed rule in this game it. is that you may discard one of your private assignments and draw a new one. That's true. I do remember them saying that. Oh, so. This is an often an important strategic move and definitely boosts the armor's value. Ah. 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 Well, yeah, that's right. End of turn. So that's the ah. something. I, that's the step I missed. Because, oh, there it is. End of turn. Draw new tiles from the back, replace stuff, etc., etc. Oh, they don't even say it there. But I, I remember uh, in the many videos I watched, it was mentioned. So I am at the point where I am going to also rest, gaining a shard and a will, and I'm also going to be discarding this thing. Oh. Let me change the camera. This thing. And drawing this. Go ahead. I am using this tile. Oh, a bundle I found really explender in love. Is it I La didn't even or love? La Havre. La Havre. That's what a lot of people call it. La Havre. La Havre. La Havre. Yeah, I played Splendor on the iPad. Um, I love Splendor. It's is it on the iPhone? Um, I think so. Yeah, I remember. Yeah, I think it's on the iPhone. Yeah. It's in like my top five. I love Splendor. I use this one, which now means that I can use this tile, this tile, and yeah, this tile. Go for it. So, so complete the assignment first. Complete the assignment first. This I isn't that complicated of a game, but I think like this rule book. I'm gonna do this one. Too wordy for its own good. <laughs> oh wait. Uh, what if I don't want to do an assignment? Like, you just wanted to do all the linked things. Yeah, I just want to do all the linked things, but I don't really want to do any of my assignments because they're not. Well. Well, like what happens? Like, what if I do this? Like it's worth a point and it's zero. It says you may perform. But like what about like okay, I have a question about right. this. Like this says remove all exhaustion tokens from your slate. Only one exhaustion token is the thing that I'm using. It's like what would happen? You would remove it. Like right now? Sure. But I still get to use all the links? I don't think so. It's not a good time to use it. I know, but that's the only one that doesn't cost anything that I own. Cause the other things I'm, I don't I don't have enough mm -hmm. and I don't want to use the two brains I have because I'm trying to save them for other stuff like because I would use them to use one of these this one gives zero points and I'm one shard off so I can't use that and I can't discard anything till the end of the turn so I'm like I'm just not going to use it it's a may effect I'm not going to use it because it's not beneficial at this time but Fair. I want to use the link stuff so I'm going to use this up here so I get to use a spell so mm -hmm. I'm going to use the gain two will 
and then I get a tile. So I'm going to grab the eyeball. Put it mm -hmm. here. Technically, it goes off your board, but that's fine. <laughs> what goes off the board? It's not assigned until the end of your turn. Oh, 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 then I just put it here. So I did the tile and the, the thing, got the two will. Now for this one, can I choose to do the will and do this again? Because it's a separate tile. Yeah, you can do that as much as you okay, want. Okay, so I get that again, two will. Then on this one, I get a will and a shard. Actually, it wouldn't be a bad strategy. You just get some spells that activate and just go for that. Okay, I guess my turn. Now I'm going to put this up here and you flip that over. All right. Darn, I was going to go for that. No can do. Well, I only have I this one. No. No well, now it makes sense do. to go for that. You can substitute will for shards. Oh, that's nice. Oh, I didn't even notice. I have a spells cost you one less will to complete. Do you have one of those? Maybe. Yeah. Oh, you do? Have you been doing it? I haven't done a will spell yet. I did like one. Oh wait, I did do a will spell. I should have paid one less for this. Yeah. But I don't remember. Yeah, see, that's the thing about So I'm not going to do it, because I don't remember the order operation. I probably do owe myself a will. I need to pay attention to these things. I missed it, so I'm not going to do it. I feel the same way. That was my... My fault. Yep. Yeah. My bad. I'm going to... Let's do this. I just need stuff. So, let's go for stuff. Go for stuff. Go for stuff. I'm going to grab a shard and a shard. And then I get two more shards. Two wills. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. I'm going to go up here to the mm -hmm. card. And now, I'm going to play this card, which I pay one less will, I establish that, so I'm going to do this. Time dilation. Okay. Read it. <clears throat> Read it. It says, at the end of your turn, remove all exhaustion tokens from your slate, then what? take another turn. It's time walking. So it costs me one less will to complete, mm -hmm. so it only costs me six, so I go down to one will. Okay. Put this in my spell area. Mm -hmm. And now I remove all this exhaustion. Oh wait, I didn't do my um, connection. Yeah, I get to do connection. one of anything. I'm gonna get um, one more will. Since I've done a one, do sure. a will for my. Then I pick this up. Mm -hmm. Draw a card. Draw a card. Replace what you had. Then take another turn. Wait, can I do that? That's um, fair. Can I can I do the um like discard and grab another? Yeah, sure. I'm gonna discard this thing because I just don't see myself using it. Sure. Since it's worth only one point. I need to find that text. Yeah. End your turn. Don't you think that'd be in the end your turn area? Didn't take another turn. Yeah, there's one more. Was it? Have a five? Number? Yeah, let me do it right Okay. I'm taking, I'm taking another turn. Yeah, you're taking another turn. I'm going to do this. Exhaustion marker here. Cards, I play this card. And then this cost me three shards. Three shards. It says disc. Wait, if I do this thing up here for my link, which I will, so because that's what that happens, I could discard a tile from your slate and place one prestige token on this item. Hmm. I could do that. I could discard one. What? Do I really want to get rid of anything. Hmm. I could get rid of this one. I haven't really been using it, but it's a good tile. I 
don't think I want to get rid of anything. Except this one, I could get rid of this one and put something else, but I like this option. Oh, but I could put this one out. Oh, I don't what know. What have you decided? Um, well, yeah. I... <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I just got up and left. We'll see Jesse again in a couple of hours. Hey, Bobby Tudors. I didn't even notice. Um, I'm, I'll see you like, well, I could do this. <laughs> it's so long. <laughs> Jesse just got up and left. <laughs> I can't handle it anymore. Your couples are too long. Just good night. <laughs> okay. Um, she has taken two turns. To be fair. Yes, I am taking two turns. Uh, so I just played this spell card, which is um, it's an option. Like if I do one of the spell things, I could discard a tile from my slate and place a prestige token on this tile. Um, but that's just an option. It's just an option of what I could use if I wanted to. I did discard the three things to do that, so I got the card. Now I could do this, which I'm going to opt to use it for will, to get two will. Okay. Then it links to this one, which I'm going to opt to do the, enter the spell thing again to get another two will. And then I come here and I get a will and a shard. And I'm done. Done? Well, entertain for a second. I have some work stuff to address. Work stuff to I'm that close to the original. <laughs> I am so on it. I'm like so exact. <laughs> Let me entertain you. Let me make you smile. <laughs> Let me do some new tricks, some old, and then some new tricks. I'm very versatile. And if you're real good, I'll make you feel good. I want your spirits to fly. So let me entertain you. And we'll have a real good time. Yes, sir. Oh, oh God, good. Is. It's a song from Gypsy. Oh. Have a good time. So Gypsy, the musical. All right, I'm going to complete an assignment. It's, it's one of my favorites. Four Jimmy Jims. Four Jimmy Jims. Yep, Jemmy Jam. For this Masterwork Tools, how many cards are you up to? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ooh, that's close. You have one, two. Oops. I have seven as well. One, two, three, four. Yeah, so one more. Good, good but uh. So I also get two shards, or three shards, and a brain. But you have to remember, two of my cards have zeros on them, so that's what I have to watch sure. out for. And only one of yours has a zero, so. Well, it's not really a zero, it's equal to that. Oh, which I'm so actually going to make bigger. Discarding this, drawing that. Go for it. Oh, right to them. <laughs> Hello, Cyril. Go ahead. Mm, Cyril. Puppy Tutor. Oh, it's, it's not Puppy Tutor's <laughs> name. I was like, Cyril? Oh, okay. <laughs> I thought somebody else had come in the room. Oh, right That again. would be confusing. I remember the Tom Walk in the Magic Cards game. I was going to put it in deck, but never use it, right? It was a very good game. That's an expensive card. I started right as soon as those cards started taking off. Like, I remember they were like 80 bucks. I was like, whoa, that's a lot. Of course, now they're like thousands, but back then, even $80 was a lot. But she needs to be. Yeah, you're right. So the pen pencils down card says Take this card if you are the first player to complete the eighth assignment. The game ends after your next turn. 
Okay. So the person will get another turn as well as you. Oh, cool. That is significant. Well, then that might change my thing because I have the ability to end the game right now. Mm -hmm. But I can also... End the game. Well... It'll give us two more turns. But it will give you one more turn and two more turns. But I'm wondering if I should do something else first since I now I know I'll get a turn regardless if I end it or not because that makes a big difference because I was thinking originally if I ended it then you get another turn and that's it I didn't realize I still get another turn if I end it so that changes some things oh that must be all my I will be right back while you think about that I should clarify I only use it in the online game it was called Apprentice oh I didn't use much, see, time time walking in a print, that's in blue, right? It's in the blue flat faction for magic. See, I, I pretty much, majority, I played um, black, which uh, Dark Ritual is my absolute favorite um, magic card of all time. I just, I'm big on like the whole, you know, the Reaper artwork on the card. That was my favorite design of it. I even have it in both like English and Spanish version of the card. Um, and so I played a lot of black and then red because when the vampires came out there were a few vampires that I played in EDH and so I played red and black together so that I could use dark rituals with vampires this is my favorite combination was red and black so I didn't play a lot of blue blue was not a color I played I played green every so often if I wanted to use like big trampling beast kind of characters because I like trample as an ability but I didn't really play other colors. I probably should have brought in, like I, I just never played blue and white and it wasn't, I had anything against it. I just never did. Cause I was so strong in like the color that I wanted to play. And even in board games, black is usually my go-to of like what color I'm going to go to either that or, or um, blue as far as like choosing colors. And there was, there was another car like uh, um, demonic tuners I really liked. Anything that lets you like look through the deck, because especially like in EDH, you have one of those, you put, you got a hundred cards to look through, you better have at least a couple of different cards in there that's gonna let you look through that deck. <laughs> Cause what's the chance this is gonna come out outside of that? And you got a hundred cards to go through. It's like, yep, you need a look through that deck card. <laughs> okay, um, so with that in mind, I think, I think I'm going to do, uh, let's see. Oh, I need an, a third card. I just realized that. Let's see. Well, if I did that, he's going to have to decide what to do. Favorite colors. Oh, okay. Oh, pick. Oh, it's, like you can be really mean with some of those like cards and then sometimes like, well, I mean, yeah, you can be really mean to some, but then you could be like mean right back with other cards. So like, uh, it, it was kind of like a toss up of like, oh, that's a mean card, but it's like, well, oh, but here you go. I'm going to give you this again. <laughs> yeah. Cause there's some black cards that can be kind of mean. Um, and they can be mean to yourself. You're like killing, you know, you're taking a lot from yourself. Oh, yeah. I don't know if I ever used uh, Abaton Expector. I don't know if I ever used that in my decks. Yeah, green green is a good like I had elves. Elves were such good green cards in Magic. Like I know Jess uh, Jesse had like a whole like deck like a green card like elves deck. It was so well made. Like I mean, it's just like flowed. He had like for for green. He had like all the like elves ability, and then like for um, there's so many good goblins in red, and he used red a lot. For that I just remember like decks that he put together that he made himself that were just like wow I could never make them that great like my my decks would come out with like oh I like these cards because they have pretty pictures on them I'll put this on my deck and it's like oh no that didn't right. work pardon the interruptions and so we were just we were talking about some magic stuff I had to pay some bills Whiskey Nick said that black and green is his favorite color combination hey that, I like those two as well uh, black and red is I mean not black and red uh, green and red is yeah. usually what I because okay. you had that elves deck and the goblin deck that just bl- would blow me away no oh, wait did you no. say what you were doing I, I have decided I'm going to try to extend a little bit longer 
Yeah, Dark Ritual of Nox after. That's right. <laughs> but I don't know if Or I'm if you had a Black Knight in your hand, you played it, and you took the Mana Burn. Back mm-hmm. when there was Mana Burn. <laughs> Like, they don't even have Mana Burn anymore, which is burn. crazy. It's like, y'all just don't even know. Y'all, y'all, easy town. <laughs> Children's these days, they got it so easy, they don't even have to Mana Burn. That was such a strange thing when they took that away, but they were trying to simplify magic at that time. But it's like, it was pretty easy to understand. Like, you pay too much, you're done. Mm-hmm. Now there's no Mana Burn, which is so weird. Pay whatever you want, okay. no burn. I'm going to do this. And I'm gonna get this thing. I'm gonna get two shards. So lately we've been playing EDH. Did you mention that? Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. It's a, and I said like in an EDH deck, I always had to have a card that you can look through the deck. Like a, I think Demonic Tutor is what I use. Yeah, Demonic Tutor, yeah. Diabolic Tutor. Um, uh... You always had to have that because if you're gonna have a hundred cards, you better have something that lets you look in that deck. Because when you get that that one card Grim that comes tutor. out, uh, like some other tutors. Yes, like a pumpy tutor. <laughs> a pumpy tutor? <laughs> yeah, a pumpy tutor. Yeah, um, you, you, when that card comes out, I'm like, oh, yes, I get to look through this this deck of 100 cards. Yes! It's like, oh, happy day. All right, so I got the two shards mm-hmm. from this, using the spell. And now I get a wild. I get anything. I think I'm going to take... Let me look at my cards. Let me consult the cards. Consult the cards. I'm going to get two shards. All right, no. One shard. Only get one. Because I got two shards from this card. Wait, I'm going to... I'm gonna. Because it's a separate thing. It's a separate thing for this. So I'm going to use this again as my wild and get two more I shards. I playing at the end of Ice Age. I made it two expansions. Still fizzled on. I started playing during uh, Fallen Empires, right before it released. So it's pretty close to Ice Age. I thought you played Beta. No. I mean, those cards were in existence. Oh. But I wasn't smart enough to buy those packs. <laughs> I have one Beta card still, and it's got a bend in it, and it's like a common. Oh, wow. I mean, it's got you, a bend in it, and it's a common. So like, if you count our combined have a beta card, collection, like, we have lots of Beta cards and stuff. Well, like yeah, that, but, but they're normally just like, like mine are common. Yeah. Um, I got two shards for Yeah, I bought a lot of revised packs then. Yeah, yeah, that looks what was out. So you got a shard? Yeah. So you didn't take the pencils down? I did not take the pencils down. Well, because guess what I'm going to do? Because I'm going to get, get another turn regardless. So I was like, well, I can... Well, I get two turns now because you didn't take it. So I'm going to cast this for three by using... My... What you don't know, I'm getting two turns too. Oh. You got another one of those things? Yep. <laughs> That's yeah. why I wasn't worried. That's why I had to like, I had to figure out my brain. It's like, regardless, I'm getting two more turns. Because even if I extend it to get more of what I want for these two turns and not get the second turn around, because you I'm took casting the pencils, refine for three. I'm still getting two turns. So I'm like, okay, three. I'm going to extend it. And I'm Put one prestige token stuff. on each of my items. <gasps> oh, no. See, I could discard a tile from your spot to place it for two choke on this, but I don't want to get... Well, I might get rid of that. I might use that as one of my second um, abilities. I think I might do that because then I'll get a procedure. And I get a uh, shard and a will. And I also forgot to do the tile thing, but uh, I guess I should. See, I came in magic-wise, but it was like late because I was late to the game. I came in like tenth edition, <laughs> like tenth anniversary. To like, but I I learned of all the older cards from like his collections of stuff. Like just kind of picking picking it up. Another wild. Never got the wild. And I'm going to discard um, this thing. How many of these points you can get? One, two, three, four. Yeah. Pencils down. Not so yet. This is your last I gotta, turn. I gotta. Then the game wait, ends after I take my. Wait, next I'm not turn. done yet. Expecto Patronum. <laughs> Fuck. Why? Why would I work? Fuck. I got one more turn. One more turn to me. Ah. Ice Age was a good set. I remember when uh, Jester's uh, cap was worth a lot of money then. Well, 20 bucks. But now it's like a dollar twenty. Jester's cap. 
I think it's tap three mana, tap it, and sacrifice it, and go through the other person's deck, pull out three cards, remove them from the game. Okay. So you can almost break someone's deck that way. And in the EDH, the Jester's Cap is still a good card because in EDH you only have singles of each mm -hmm. card. So if you know the deck, then you can go in and put the hurt on. Get rid of combos. <sighs> All right, I'm going to do this card. Play this. Time. Time walking again. Yep. I spend one less will, so now I have one will oh, left. Yeah. I forgot seven. to spend one less and all that stuff. But so I got my spell. I'm I remove all my exhaustion tokens. And now I take one final turn. Mm -hmm. Okay. So on my final turn, I'm going to place one here to play another card. Um, let's see. Go to the. Wait, let me make sure I'll have enough. Because if I spend two now, four. I don't like Magic on 2015 PS4. I would like to play Magic Arena, but it's for the PC only, and the PC is at her space and not my space, so can't really stream that but you know I still enjoy the game I know it's free but just I don't know maybe one day I'll get it going I'll somehow. Play, I'll play this one it's so good to keep playing cards even though we're above the eight right so I'm on the yeah, eight keep going. okay as far as I know <laughs> I mean it says play a card yeah, eight or more <laughs> okay um so I'm gonna play this frost storm for one less will Putting up a fight at the last second. This so I play one this one. And this is each opponent must choose one. I mean, it's not gonna really matter to you. Just exhaust one of your tiles. Just to do it. Be like, ooh, last minute. Exhaust? Oh, okay. Yeah. Just hoping I get the discard because that would add to my bonuses. Alright, and now I'm going to use a spell. Which I'm gonna use this thing. Discard a tile from your slate. And place one prestige token on this item. So I'm gonna discard this thing. Discard a tile, nice. Put it down here. And That's then a point I get for a me. prestige token on this. Point for you and point for me. So that was this. Then I get a tile. Mm -hmm. Which doesn't, I mean, it really does not matter at this point. I'll just grab this because I just <laughs> discarded something. But it's just get the prestige token. And so that was this tile that I'm gonna use this thing mm -hmm. get a brain get a rock oh wait a second i messed up i can't do this part why not because I, I need this to get the shards oh okay oh, wait wait i don't know what's happening <laughs> you're trying to cast another spell yeah okay or complete another assignment yeah so i can't discard this i'm sorry that doesn't go there this goes here I can't discard that. I'm I'm misjudged. I can't get that prestige point. I need to use this for the two shards. Mm -hmm. And a tile. Which essentially I still take this tile. I'm just gonna put it here. But I just not just starting. Yeah. And then this, I'm gonna come over here and get a shard and a will. Mm-hmm. And then this, I'm going to use the card and okay. cast my final spell. Assignment nine. What? One, two, three, four, five. This six, is worth nine. plus one prestige for every completed link between two tiles in your slate. So it does matter. Yeah. That you picked up that tile. Wait, this I had going that way. It doesn't. I mean, it's doesn't still connected. Matter, yeah. yeah. So it does matter that I connected this because this connected these together. Oh wait, I should put it here. And it has these connections. Does that make a difference? Um, for every completed link, you're just counting circles, so it doesn't really matter. Oh, so maybe if I picked another tile, that and would honestly, matter. it doesn't matter. Oh, oh, I see what you're saying. Like if I picked one of another tile with more links to it, like one of these. I've lost track of this turn. How about you? <laughs> this is the last thing. It's the last thing. I just need to. I know it's tile. just been so much take backs. I can't keep up. That would have helped. 
That's no different. That doesn't help me at all. It is different. That's two circles completed. Just drop it. Okay. Oh, it's called the circle. I thought it was. It's just counting circles. Counting that's all you're thing. counting. So that's all it's. Okay. Done. Turn done. My oh my. It was a long turn. It was two turns in a row. Yeah. Lots of links. Lots of stuffs. I'll say. All right. Pencils down. For reals? No, not for reals. That's oh, you sure. get one more turn. That's right. Oh. Well. Unless you don't want that opportunity. Well, it's not optional, but whatever. So I'm going to exhaust the complete assignment because, you know, that's how you get points in this oh, game. Oh, he's going to discard a card. That thing's going to be worth five points. It's worth a little more than peace. that. So I'm casting a spell, which I get to spend one less. So I'm only spending five. Uh, spells cost one last. Anytime you complete a spell, get a shard, which doesn't really matter. Combustion. Each opponent must choose a space on their slate containing one or more tiles. Discard all tiles from the chosen space. What? What must, what must I discard? What are you taking from me? What am I hearing? Maybe a light bulb? I don't know. No, no. But here, discard one. What? Discard it. I don't like this. Combustion. Each of them must choose a space on their slate containing one or more tiles. Discard all tiles on the choice. No! No! It's not that bad. None of mine have just one connection, though. Good. No! Actually, yeah, there is one. Where? Where's only got one connection? Oh, this thing? Oh, yeah, I can discard the Y. That's only one connection. Okay. But that's another point! Ah! Right. Okay. Well, you might lose one, you gain one. Pencil ah! down. No, at the last minute, I'm doomed. Now we calculate our prestige. Well, prestige. I don't got no prestige. Wait, I do. This item is worth one prestige point for every completed link between two. Funny in their the example, the prestige total is eight points. It's like, wait a second, we got a lot more than that. So wait, what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I have eight. I think for my plus plus one prestige for every completed link between two tiles on your slate. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Mm-hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I don't know who's going to win this one. These are worth zero points at the end of the game. They're just for energy. So those are like minus. They're just nothing cards. Just the side. Is that it? Now we just count up these green things? It's just prestige and green? Or, or the green things are prestige points. What? Three, four... Five. Sort of, oh, I didn't discard a thing on my turn. Let's just say I discarded it on my turn. Was that? Because that's what you said. You said I was, and I was like, wait a second, why don't I leave this off? Okay. All right, well, I have my final score. I don't know if it matters that uh, I discarded or not. I wonder what it'll be. I have 35. Oh, I guess it didn't matter. 36. What? What the f Why did I say anything? Oh, <laughs> why did I say anything? Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't count these two. 38. So I guess it Still! Didn't <laughs> it didn't matter. Ah! Thanks for watching another iHeart Board Games video. You made it to the end, so. I hope you're ready for more because there's one right here and here. And in fact, I think in this one I actually got the rules right, so you got that to look forward to. Yeah. Oh wait, not that one. That one. That one I got the rules right.